Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, with the market being a little bit lacklustre due to the US being absent in observance of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we can see the Australian dollar is edging closer to the support level of 71.60. It is viewed a break beneath there, which does look highly likely as the RSI has weakened further and the MACD nearly marrying up would give further scope towards the support level seen as a short term or to the point broad base foundation where the ball is likely to be harboring in the 1790. It is anticipated profit taking may emerge from there. Keep an eye on this 60 day moving average because it is actually starting to drop with the price and may find brief challenges with the resistance now seen around the 72.45 to 55 region, allowing a little bit of slippage. With the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, edging slightly higher to an intraday high of 95.30. The euro has slipped underneath the 114 handle and now looking closer to that 113.65 with a base holding where the short term support seem roughly around the lows of 113. Keep an eye on these technicals, they are weakening and with the RSI just piercing the 50 midway point, that is, could see a further slide. In light of the pattern and also with the dollar index edging higher, the euro should maintain to a bearish bias. With the dollar yen, regaining further momentum, looking towards that top side target around 115.45 due to the recent Dragonfly Doji and confirmation. It does keep in light the bulls to navigate higher. With sterling weaker since posting the Gravestone Doji, looks towards the objective around 135, 45.55 area with the RSI weakening. All eyes do look to the Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey on Wednesday. So no doubt we could see a little bit of mixed price action. Overall, I'm not bearish though. I feel this is just a short-term correction since the bullish trend from 131.5. And we may see a bounce from anywhere this region back up towards that top side of 137 to 138. Still feel that the bulls are lurking. So I'm not going to get too bearish on the pound. With the recent weakness in the yen leg, Kajen has regained its momentum and now closely negating this Greystone Doji. Nevertheless, I feel the market will have a little bit of struggle as it gets closer towards this top side of the range, anywhere from 9180 figure. And let's see if we get another round of weakness or rejection from this region. A little bit to say to gold as it luster price action navigates sideways. Still keeping an eye on these technicals, they are weak. And I still feel that we're going to head back towards 1,800 with the base holding around 1,788 and the broad base holding at 1,757. And the cap looking around like 1,800 to 28 to 33. And then finishing off with oil, it's edging closer to this recent cap, which is seen around 80 to around $85 a barrel. Still, we are getting a little bit overbought. The trend is overheating, but if we break above 85, could see $86 on the cards and reassess from there. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the inch report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.